Hey guys, this is Alex Orchias, and today we're gonna dive into the time lapse feature of firmware 3.0 for the A7R3 and the A7 III. <laughs> Before today, we either had to use a wireless remote or the SNQ feature, which only exported at 1080p. So big shout out to Sony for finally letting us use an intervalometer within the camera. Let's take a look at how it works. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is go to the fourth page of the first tab, which is shoot mode slash drive two. There, you will find the interval shoot function. Once you click on that, you're gonna see five different options. You could either turn on interval shooting, you could change the shooting start time, which is how long it takes to get the first shot. Then you have the shooting intervals, which is how often you want the camera to shoot. The shooting interval can be between one and 60 seconds. At the bottom of the screen, it will tell you exactly the shooting time duration, which in this case for 60 seconds, at 200 shots, it'll take three hours and 19 minutes. The fourth option is the number of shots. This means that if you're editing in 24 frames, you're gonna have to divide the number of shots by 24. If you're editing in 30, you do the same thing. You divide the total number of shots by 30, and that's however many seconds the final sequence will be. If you wanna have 9,999 shots, you can set it up like that, or you could do 200, which is what I like to do. Then the last option here is the AE tracking sensitivity. I like to keep this on low so the exposure isn't constantly changing on my time lapse. There's also a feature called continuous playback for interval. So what you can do here is actually play back all of your photos as a time lapse video. You can also adjust the speed. I like to set mine at around six to eight. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content.